Everybody and welcome to Liber Rebel. My name is Siama Dikizela and I'm the PR manager for Volkswagen South Africa. So excited, we are in Stellenbosch. We've just completed a week launching the Volkswagen T Rock. This is it over here. So the T Rock is part of our T SUV model range, which consists of the T Cross, then the T Rock. Tiguan, Tiguan All Space, as well as a Touareg. This is the top of the range, two liter, 140 kilowatt T-Rock. I just want to take you through some of the things that I really love about this car. First SUV to have the two-tone exterior paintwork. This one is particularly striking because of this red roof. So this model comes standard with the 19 inch Suzuka alloy wheels, but also how lovely is this front over here? This integrated bumper with these um, fog lights and daytime running lights. So let's come to the back. So this car is the second model in South Africa to have the new Volkswagen logo. And you'll see um, we're now bringing this in where um, the name of the car is centered below, below the logo. It's also... Um, Got the new four motion logo that we've also um, we've also changed. Very very happy with this car. So I think um, Niaz will will share with you how it was driving this car because I'm biased. <laughs> <laughs> Love this T Rock. Um, so yeah, let's go in and then I'll show you um, some of the features inside. So in the interior, you get the steering wheel with the red stitching over here, and standard on all of the two liter R line models is ambient lighting in red. We have the active info display, which is basically our digital cockpit, right? And then um, all of our cars come standard with App Connect. Um, we also get mobile charging. Um, this is a seven speed DSG. You'll see four motion there. And then the red stitching continues here on the gear lever. So yeah, navigation, um, voice control. You can swipe using the hand gestures. And the nice thing about this, because it's got four motion, it, it works on gravel. So you just um, change um, the settings with this button over here. And then um, to choose whether it's comfort, normal, sport, um, off-road. So awesome. yeah. See, I thank you so much for that. I think I'm, I'm going to be out of a job really soon. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. Guys, you heard it from Sianga herself. Um, I will link a link to the VWT cross in the description box below. T Rock. <laughs> to T Rock in the description box below. I know this car is highly anticipated. I have been getting messages. Um, you guys can check the pre order out over there. It is going live this week on sale at dealerships. Yes, around South yes. Africa. You can now get it at your nearest Volkswagen dealership. So yeah, we currently have over 700 um, pre-orders, so we're very excited about this car. We're excited to see it on South African roads. Nice. So thank you for joining us, it's Liberal Rebel. I'm going to be on the wheel now tell you guys a bit more about the VW T-Rock. I'm just explain to you guys some of the parts and some of the the interesting things about the VW T Cro T Rock. I nearly said T Cross. I keep thinking about the T Cross because I had the T Cross last year on as my holiday car. Um, VW is actually sending me the T Rock for my holiday car this year. So I want to chat to you guys quickly about essentially what the T Rock is. So the T Rock is riding on the VW Golf platform. That means this all-wheel drive version has VW's 2-liter turbocharged EA888 engine with a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. It produces 140 kilowatt and 320 newton meters of torque. The end result is a SUV or 
a smallish SUV. Here's a T rock coming this direction. <laughs> <laughs> that nice. feels that feels quite nice to drive. Quite sporty in the corners and also really peppy under throttle. My current average fuel consumption is 9.2 liters per 100 kilometers and Justin who drove this car before me wasn't that light on the throttle. Interior wise we have the same steering wheel that we find in the VW Golf GTI and we've got the red accent lighting here on the side that you find also in a Golf GTI. I like the fact that the R-Line package which this the 4 motion or all wheel drive version is equipped with just makes the car feel that little bit more special it really just brings up the cabin a little bit what we've done is also done is they've added um, these trims on the inside of the car which you can change to a different color if you want to when you order your vehicle or i'm sure you can buy them uh, in the vw dealership afterwards the t-rock also has the beats sound system which has which is equipped with four front speakers two rear speakers and a subwoofer in the boot the result is quite nice sound quite a nice punchy bass your typical beats tuning as well which you know is more bass focused another cool thing with the t-rock the wireless apple carplay and android auto you don't have to connect the cable to your phone in order to see the android auto apple carplay and you've also got the the uh, vw's the display in front of your cluster in front of me which shows me different but sets of uh, 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 driving data while I drive. I'm going to put the car into the sport mode quickly and I will put it in manual and just see quickly what it's like through some twisties. What I do like already is that the car feels very GTI like which is very high praise for SUV especially one that's riding much higher than the Golf variant. I need to go over here I can see why Justin was so impressed with the, the handling because it actually feels quite planted and I must say this engine more than enough I was thinking 140 kilo was going to be a little bit too too um, little for the weight of this car but so far your holy cooks is actually <laughs> now that I'm driving it it's quite buttoned down I love what VW did here. It doesn't really feel like an SUV. It feels really much like, like a hatch, a hot hatch. The seven speed dual clutch as well is super sharp, super fast, instantaneous to your inputs on the pedals on the steering wheel. A lot of cars you drive nowadays is quite delayed and it just there's a very laggy feeling when you hit the, the pedal. This car, no delay and I'm really enjoying this this pass here quite a bit of fun i just don't want to get any speed traps my initial impressions of the volkswagen t-rock very strong container in the segment um, i do think this car is going to sell exceptionally well vw seems to of position this car really well in the market and at the asking price of 593,000. Uh, just just over 593 really well priced as well the equivalent uh, uh, the contender to this car the sister car this I won't say the brand starts at 600,000 rand guys so really well situated in the market and it's gonna perform extremely well it does look the part as well uh, the car's turning heads. I like the way they integrated the daytime running lights. I wasn't a big fan of it at first. Now I really like it. And I'm really warm. I've really warmed up to, to this car. And you guys in the aftermarket are going to have a ball of a time with this thing. Because, I mean, with with a tickle here and there, it's going to give a lot of other cars a hiding. <laughs> oh, and it's got launch control. Yeah, it's got launch control. So I am getting the T-Rock um, for the for four weeks during the holiday. I will do a more in-depth video then.
Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. This car is going to sell like absolute crazy. I had a conversation with um, Andile, last night, Andile last night and Sianga about the T-Rock R to be more specific. They don't have a exact date to when T-Rock R is coming. Now, they did say if there is enough uh, demand for T-Rock R, they are going to consider bringing it in, but there's a big process of that. The engine needs to be homologated, the car needs to be homologated. So there's quite a process um, in, in doing that. However, I know VW might get a bit upset with me, but I am a, a modification channel after all, and you guys love these cars. This is the t rock R, the 2 liter I was in, which is basically a Golf R already. I mean, all this car needs is the turbocharger. Please, guys, I'm not saying you must do it under motor plan and stuff like that, but when the car does go out of plan, you can basically turn this into the R um, with bigger brakes and things like that. And the thing is, I mean, with minor work on this car, it's going to run the numbers already. I tell you guys what, would you guys like to see me in a t rock R and turn it into a Golf R, like, like the performance of a Golf with like a lot of power, or you want to see me in a Golf 7.5 R? Um... You tell me, you tell me, tell me in the comments below what car you want to see me in if, if, if I were to go for a Golf R, right? Because I, I prefer T-Rock. Um, just a drop, big turbo, some other odds and ends. Um, let me know, the prices seem very nice, so I'm okay with that. So let me know in the comments, Plexia, what car you want to see me in if I go for a new car like this. Um, but yeah, I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. And thank you so much to Volkswagen South Africa for an amazing year. Uh, last few months of this year, which wasn't that impressive because of coronavirus. Um, the Caravelle launch and now the T-Rock launch was really nice. I really enjoyed myself. And they are awesome people. You guys absolutely love Volkswagens. So much of you. I think Liberable sells like, you guys buy about four. I'm seeing about four Golf R's a month, which is insane. Um, that tells me that you guys do value what I say and you guys do value these videos. So a car like this is quite important on this channel because you guys get to see it um, quite early on. I'm getting the car, the T-Rock the, the R4, R-Line for the holiday, the 2 liter. Um, and then I'm going to do a weekly update for you guys on my social media platforms. What the cars like to live with week to week and what I found I like and what I find that I don't like. So that's my take on the VW T-Rock. If you want to see more, subscribe to Liberable. Thumbs up. Share with friends and family. Be free, be you. Liberable out.